Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be pulling this tired EJ25 out of this STI, getting it rebuilt, bringing it back to its former glory. Let's get into the today's video. So we finally got this car on the lift. The motor, after uh, doing numerous tests, it's seen its better days. The culprit, the most well-known cylinder number four strikes again. And there is pretty much only like 50 PSI compression on that. So uh, I think this car has over 150,000 miles. And you know, these cars don't get grandma, they, they get driven, that's what they're made for. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start this disassembly process, take all this out, pull the whole long block out complete. Then from there, uh, we're gonna be taking it to the Subi shop, which is literally pretty close to our facility here. They will commence with the new short block, rebuild the heads, get everything all nice, sealed up, and we'll get it back into this STI, just to get it back to its former glory of what this car is. As you know, if you saw the first video, this was one of my first cars that I've ever owned that got me into the automotive business. And uh, obviously this is a little bit different than my, mine was a 02 WRX, but there's a 06 STI, which is the, the better one you want. Bigger motor, six speed, big brakes and everything. So after we do the motor stuff, then we can start working on the body aspect of it. But uh, this is the heart of the car. So, you know, we need to take care of this before we take care of anything else, guys. So, all right guys, so we started already the disassembly process. Obviously the obvious things to take off is the intercooler. Also, we're gonna start taking all the, the mounts, uh, motor mounts, the turbo, the downpipe, uh, all the AC uh, lines, uh, power steering, fuel lines separate that, make sure we take all the, the battery out. Just probably the best thing too before I take off, obviously the radio, get that out of the way so it's not in the way when we pull the motor. Uh, there's quite a bit of stuff we have to disassemble. Same with like the clutch and all that. Separate that, but slowly but surely we'll get all this stuff apart. And then uh, Luis says he'll have the motor out by tonight. Tonight. Do you really believe that? 12 hours. <laughs> 12, he, he says he's gonna stay up two hours, Two hours tonight and, and 10 hours tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but take it out. Now there you go. There she is. Okay. Yeah. That looks familiar, no Matazos? Yep. All right, so guys, there it is. The secret to pulling these Subaru motors out is um, obviously everything, once you have everything out and it still doesn't want to come out, the problem is the fork pin. There's a pin and there's an access point right here that you take the Allen screw out and you put the bolt in there and you slide this uh, very big pin out and that'll separate the tranny from the motor. Now at this point, we're gonna put up our jack and hopefully hoist your way. Moment is here, we finally separated. We're gonna go ahead and pull this motor out so we can get this uh, thing finally cleaned up. Then we're gonna clean up the engine bay and do all that. But first, first, pull this big old pig out of here. So let's do it, Luis. Shout out to Mataosos. I did all the work, he just kind of helped me with the pin. <laughs> 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 Thank you for uh, helping me with the pin, Matosos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got the motor out. This kind of wanted to show you. It does have an upgraded turbo, Blausch turbo. So it does have a little turbo upgrade, which is good. But obviously, when they take all this stuff apart, they take all this off. They take timing um, chain. They're gonna take the heads off. Valve cover gasket looks like they've been leaking, of course. The clutch looks like it's fairly new. So 
pressure plate, clutch, all that, but I'm sure we're probably gonna have to just, when this comes off, we can uh, might as well do an upgrade, or if it's still okay once they take it apart, just use this one, but maybe resurface the flywheel. And kind of just go through everything, you know, go through all the, all the gaskets that's gonna need clean up anything that needs to be cleaned up. Obviously this this is a separation. This is the heads from here over is the head. Same with this side. So what we're gonna get new is we're pretty much gonna get a new short block, an RA type, which is like a, comes a lot sturdier, forged internals, can handle a little bit more. And then these heads just need to be gone through, maybe a valve job, make sure everything's good. And then just get everything reassembled. So right now we're gonna go ahead and load this up onto the truck, take it down to the subi shop where they will take care of all the disassembly and put it back together so we can just pretty much just drop this, drop this puppy in right back into the car and be on our way. So crank her up. Yeah man. Sideways? Sideways motherfucker. Just the way you like them. Shit. Nice and sideways. Yeah. Sideways, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got going on, on here? That's the good stuff. Yeah. Titanium. Yeah. <laughs> also, we have our custom sponsored Falcon motor stand that's going to drop right in there. I'll back up this truck so we can get it on there. So we made it here to the Subi shop. Obviously some nice Subarus out front. There's a building here, so I'm gonna get it. Uh, let me see where we're gonna uh, back up the truck and then so we can get this, this thing unloaded and get it ready for rebuild. Out of the 06 STI. And um, cylinder four is. Cylinder four is the culprit. No compression. compression. I mean, the car had like 170,000 miles. So, you know, they, I don't think they baby these cars. <laughs> I'm sure they, you know, went through it and they had their fun with that. They had their fun with it, so is that like the most common thing you guys see with the with these or um I mean we see if it's if it's not knocking mm -hmm. then it's <laughs> <laughs> so it's either a knock or compression. Good. There's something like a tech point out what was your name? Keen. 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 Is that he noticed this uh kind of heat warped or heat damaged and um typically can be done by the header so Maybe this car saw some track days because uh, usually that doesn't get melted. It's supposed to handle it. In order for them to get it on the stand, um, there's something I bolt. forgot to do is obviously yeah, there's, there's take one more off the, the clutch there so we can get it on the engine stand and then from there they can really see what needs to go on there. But. We typically don't like lightweight fly. Oh, and here's another issue. Lightweight flywheel, lightweight crank pulley. And what issues occur with that? Too much vibrations in the crankshaft. Yeah. So they're, they're, the, they're, the weight is there to keep the vibration, the, the harmonics mm -hmm. down. Too little weight, too much vibration. So that could have caused the issue? Nah, the not necessarily. To burn the valve or lose the compression the way it did, I'm, I'm gonna guess it was uh, fueling or oh, timing. Lean or something? Something on. like that, yeah. It looks like, I mean, they look, they look like stock injectors. I don't think they are. They're probably upgrades, like drilled out stock injectors type of a thing. One They're thing I noticed feeds. too is uh, it was throwing a code, but is that because they delete the uh, TGBs? TGBs? Yeah, they had a TGB yeah, code. Okay. Yeah. Um, but that's you, that can be tuned out of it, right? Or? Yeah, that's easy. Okay. Um, but we would probably one thing that we'll end up probably recommending is going to a top feed fuel injector. Oh, okay. The side feeds tend to not as well. That can cause like a lean issue or something like that. That could land us where we are. Mm -hmm. So we're in good hands. We're gonna go ahead and get this uh, racked up and then um, then tear it down and go from there. And hopefully I see something over here that I like, which uh, looks like that's a brand new short block, which looks really new. So hopefully we'll get something nice like that uh, back in my car and get her up and running. It looks like this is another one torn down that's probably used and then probably seen its better days. So it's good comparison how you can see two short blocks next to each other. 
and see, you know, look at all the caked on oil there, probably rings. Uh, we see here a brand new cylinder, short block, everything brand new, pistons, all brand new. I'm sure getting it all back together with heads, all the parts there, rear ends. So definitely in good hands. We'll get this wrapped up. They know what they're doing. They they do this on a day in, day out basis, do rebuilds, servicing. So if you guys ever need anything done to your Subaru, make sure you guys shot them out here in Oceanside, the Subi shop. They'll go ahead and take care of you. Jose is a great guy. Go ahead and take care of you. Any aspect from maintenance to full on build. So we'll help them get this on there and uh, we'll let them do their thing. thing that he pointed out that I didn't even notice was that heat mount must have got really hot from the header or running it really hot for this to absorb heat so might be good to wrap the headers um, in the future might as well if we have them off so to kind of help with that Those headers put out obviously during, during a track day or obviously running it hard so Jose is gonna be in tomorrow we'll go ahead and uh, let him take it apart see what what he says about it but more than likely like i said what we have talked about we're going to go ahead and just do a short block take this out keep the heads have the heads redone machined make sure all the you know, valve trains good and then pretty much reassemble everything maybe when he has stuff apart i can come by kind of take care of this repaint this clean up the turbo clean up some of the components maybe walk out to all and wrap the header but um go ahead and leave this with him and then um get a call back from him and we'll go from there okay, so i made it back to the shop the car is without an engine but don't worry i know jose over there at subi shop is going to take care of me he's going to go ahead and fully disassemble the motor i'll probably be back there to pick up some of the parts to paint maybe paint the like the manifold and paint some of the covers while he's doing the the rebuild on it but meanwhile i'll go ahead and like pressure wash this get this all cleaned up so that it's pretty much ready and then maybe i might add some other stuff maybe from an intercooler or something like that but uh for now we'll wait to hear from him i want to thank you guys for watching again for helping support the channel make sure you guys hit that notification button for new up-to-date videos and that subscribe button so that you get all the new updated videos when they drop here at sos customs we got you covered peace all right guys till next time